Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Today I'm going to talk about uh, improvised weapons. You can take something as simple as a stick off of a tree, anything that has a, a little Y on it like that, a branch, something that will fit comfortably in your hand, trim it off, take the bark off of it, and sand it for hours and hours of course to make it smooth. You can come up with a pretty nice weapon. Something like this. This is what I would call a yawara, a yawara. And you just hold it in your hand like that. It's good for, it's a called a force multiplier. Uh, strike up with an uppercut. Strike with a hammer fist. You can use it for pressure points, things like that. Very, very handy. This, is, this one here is made out of tugas. It's very, very smooth. Here's another one made out of Tugas that just it just fits my hand like a glove. I mean, it is just, it is so comfortable. Um, try to keep your tips round. Um, it makes them a lot less lethal. You don't want to kill anybody. You just want to. The secret is to defend yourself and get away. Um, this one right here is made out of a, a wood called Malabi. This is the Philippine ebony. This is a pink ebony here. Uh, very it's just this is this is smooth as glass but I, again I sanded this down to 800 grit sandpaper uh, this is another little small one out of two this kind of looks like a ostrich head this little one here this is made out of two fits the hand beautifully I carry this with me everywhere I go in the Philippines either in my pocket or in my bag alongside my phone I've never had to use it or anything, but I just I just feel more secure having just something with me. I always carry a pocket knife too, but this this right here is something you could just take very very quickly out, and if you had to use it, just throw it in the weeds because it's just a stick. Um, another uh, easy easily made weapon is this is a piece of PVC pipe that's filled up with um, uh, cut up sinkers lead sinkers uh, real small little pieces and, and kind of tamped into the into the pipe and then I put a cap on it I put a Solomon bar handle on it so it, it just fits on your hand like like that also good for upper thrust and, and hammer fist uh, it's plastic very easy to make uh, this here is a keychain kind of a, another Yawara thing made out of rope but inside the rope is a 3 16th inch bolt to keep it stiff and it's it's a, a fender knot if you ever want to know the knot you can, you can find it on a guy named Mr. Coop has a real nice paracord fender uh, paracord fender fod video that will sh show you the knot another great weapon of course is an ice pick but I wouldn't want to get caught with an ice pick I made a little sheath out of a out of some PVC pipe for it here's another this is a socket wrench uh, a tri socket I cut one of the sockets off and ground it down into a screwdriver and you put it in your hand like a T knife if you had to use it use the use the socket end to hit with first if you had to and last resort would be use the the point this is just a box end wrench I cut off the, the open end and bent it around a 90 degree angle and now it fits in your hand for upward strikes and downward strikes and again this this is not illegal to have this is a wrench you can have this in your car anywhere you want so again again it's 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 illegal if you used it but if you use it for self-defense I don't think it is illegal here's a, a true Yawara this is from cold steel made out of heavy-duty I, I guess it's a nylonish type uh, polymer it, it, it's real solid easy to grip this is this is a true a true weapon and here's a, a cold steel spike this vicious little thing but 
before you carry any of these weapons oh here's here's two more we didn't we didn't talk about this is a white tail deer antler sharpened up to a point again this is this is kind of weapon to be devastating this is just like a, a dagger so you'd have to be really careful where I used it the the one end is round here's another deer antler here it's shaped so that it if you use it to strike it won't slide out of your hand it has a little little face carved on it this is also a white tailed deer antler it has a little bit of coal rosing on the on the top for decoration but if you're going to use any of these weapons or carry them, <coughs> or carry them make sure you check your local regulations uh, I believe from what I understand a Yawara as long as it's round on the top and the bottom is legal almost anywhere in the world to carry as self-defense something like something like this is is legal legal to carry in a place like London where you can't even you can't even have a pair of nail clippers so just something for you to think about that's all I have for now Thanks for watching.